गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल ग्रेट Good morning. So we are starting. tribute to a great master samuel hanuman for this divine science and who made us to learn and treat the patient with dare to be wise with the blessings of our guru dr praful vijaykar sir we have bridged this divine science with the modern science and made it easy like mathematics jay hanuman jay homeopathy om vijaykarayana so friends we are in the journey of reading <coughs> organon of medicine six medicines as well as the dr vijay kar fourth book verbatim so the practical part of the organon we are reading so in case checking what we have to do so we are continuing with the aphorism number 96 in previous aphorism we have learned but the different aspect that beside this so in chronic cases the patient themself differ from so much in the dispositions that especially so called hypochondria and other persons of the great sensitiveness 
and impatient of suffering portray their symptoms in too vivid color and in order to induce the physician to give them relief describe their ailment in exaggerated expression so many a time some patient comes to you they do not give you symptoms but there are many patients they give you exaggerated form of symptoms and that symptoms that you might feel that oh oh, oh this patient has lots of symptoms and everything but you have to keep this in your mind that that is something that happens to the patients so this exaggerated symptoms or hypochondriac persons or oversensitive persons or impatience of suffering they portray the symptoms in a too vivid color that is in exaggerated form <clears throat> For example, one of the patients, I had treated one patient who had a lot of anxiety. Anxiety that he might have some heart disease, anxiety he might have some problems. So he used to go to the physician, do ECG and everything. So every time we thought that it is something that cardiac neurosis and everything. But it is not like that. He was a man that he used to have a lot of anxiety about his health and everything. But whenever he goes to hospital, he said that if doctor says nah, uh, the ECG is normal, then I will be happy and I came back to home and everything is fine. So these were the symptoms happen every time. So on the basis of this, this and one of the, my sir, Dr. J.K. sir, has taught me one rubric of uh, endoctonus. In that, it is written like that, anxiety about health ends in hospital. So, when the hospital goes, the doctor says that everything is fine, problem nahi hai, everything is fine. So, he will be okay, he will be consoled. So, this is on the basis of that symptom that I prescribe. This is the exaggerated symptom, but on the basis of that symptom and a physiological involvement, I prescribe androctonus to their patient and he was absolutely fine. So this is something that you have to keep in mind that sometimes the patient comes to you with a hypochondriasis. Okay. Sometimes patient comes to you with a very great sensitiveness. I must remember one, one case of sir that uh, uh, the patient came to, uh, sir, was, uh, sir was in a busy OPD and the patient came to uh, sir and he came back door and uh, asked the sir, please, please, Every time he is so impatient that he used to came to open the door and uh, sir, I will come, I will come, I will come, treat me, please pass, treat me. So this is something that he wants. He was very, very impatient and he wants to cure at him at once. So on the basis of that, the remedy was something which we called as the chamomilla. The chamomilla wants everything very quick in relief. So this is something you have to keep in your mind. Some exaggerated symptoms the patient is showing at you and you should keep that into account so that you get the result. These are the clinical experience of <coughs> us that I am sharing with you. So in footnote number 88, what he has expressed, the wisdom of Master Haneman that a pure fabrications of the symptoms and suffering will never be met with a, a mat in hypochondriasis. Even in the most impatient of them, a comparison of the suffering they complain of at a various time when the physician gives them nothing at all or something quite unmedicated proves this plainly. That means if you prescribe a placebo to certain patients and then also he will be fine. But we must deduct something from their exaggeration. So this is very important that sometimes the pure fabrications of these symptoms in hypochondriasis, you may prescribe placebo and he will be fine for a time being. But you must understand that why these exaggerated symptoms comes into the process. So we must deduct something from their exaggeration at all events, ascribe the strong character of their expression to their excessive sensitivity. In which case, this very exaggeration of their expression when talking of their ailment become an itself an important symptom in the list of the feature of which the portrait of the disease is composed. So this exaggerated symptoms gives you a PQRS and that PQRS gives the remedy. So this is what the P 
impure fabrication, especially in hypersensitive or hypochondriac case, or <clears throat> the patient having an exaggerated symptom, but not in the case when the person is insane or a person is malingering for the disease or a feign disease. So this is what something you have to keep in a mind. So in, in case of insanity, you cannot take the exaggerated symptoms or in case of malingering, you cannot take exaggerated symptoms. So this is what, what Hanuman has given us idea about this. The other individual of an opposite character. So this is what more sensitive people see. Whereas other individual of opposite character, however, partly from indolence due to lack of that indolence or, uh, or activity and partly from the <coughs> false modesty or a psychosis or partly from the kind of mildness of a dispositions or weakness of the mind or a dullness or a dull mind refrain from mentioning a number of their symptoms okay so they describe a uh, vague in term and allege some them of in no consequence so this is what something you have to keep in your mind which type of constitution is in front of you is there an indolence constitution or is there a psychotic constitution or it is or it is a mild kind of dispositions or a weakness of mind, a dull constitution. So from the dull constitution, you cannot get a proper symptom, but you have to keep in a mind. So they describe everything in a vague term. So these are the wisdom of Master Hanuman that tells us about the idea that we have to keep in a mind that how this help us in our clinical practice. So now, as certainly as we should listen particularly to the patient descriptions of his suffering and the sensations and attach credence especially to his own expressions wherewith he endeavor to make us understand his ailment. So keep in mind we have to be attentive in observing that how the person is telling you. Uh, one fine day the patient comes to me and patient is telling you no, no, sir, I don't have any problem and stress. But when you observe the face of the patient, the patient's face shows a distress. The patient is telling you that I don't have any stress, but expression of the face telling you that something. So you have to match this also because this expression is giving you an idea. So because in the mouth of his friend and attendants, they are usually altered and erroneously stated. So certainly, on the other hand, in all disease, but especially in the chronic one, the investigations of the true complete picture and its peculiarity demand special circumspection, tact, knowledge of human nature, caution in conducting the inquiry and the patients in an eminent degree. So this is what Master Hanuman wants the physician to be like this. They have to be very, very circumspective and very, very tactful and having the knowledge of the human nature so that you can understand how the person is behaving in front of you and you have to take into consideration his behavior and everything. So this is what we are understanding the wisdom of Master Hanuman that is telling to us about the case taking. So friends, again, we are reading the books on the verbatims, the workshop conducted by Dr. Prakul Vijikar sir at Mahabaleshwar in 2002. So <clears throat> up till now, we have learned about many things, the approach of the skin disease and the approach when there is a side effects and, and everything. So we will continue learning of this with and yesterday we have learned that how to understand the case taking, particularly in the patient, when the patient having an acute complaint or when the patient having a chronic complaint. So we have understood a chronic case with the history of uh, trauma and that trauma, blunt trauma lead to the huge kidney. So on the basis of sir has prescribed the bellis paranis. So now we are reading another chapter so in the understanding of any case, it is necessary to go into an in-depth understanding of the disease conditions in our patients. So materia medica, repertory, and organ form our base. 
the thorough understanding comes from only from the knowledge of the basic human science this study is the require and right of every physician to practice practicing any therapeutic pachi it solidify the strong base that we stand on so this is what we have to understand the disease in first now we all know that aphorism number 5 that the inactive case the exciting cause is most important and the chronic case the miasm is most important and in this investigation we have to understand that the physical constitutions of the patient moral intellect mode of living habit occupation domestic relationship and sexual functions and etc that has to be taken into consideration so this is the case so we are starting with another case at the case of a 52 years female a case of a chronic urinary tract infections hypertension and uh, depressions the chief complaint she had a severe stomatitis since two days uh, she has a red and swollen mouth hence unable to eat can hardly talk nausea and vomiting aggravation in morning since four to five days vertigo aggravation waking on aggravation turning side again it is from four to five days loss of sleep because uh, causes vomiting in the morning so past history she had a recurrent uh, urinary tract infections on and off the leucorrhea uses uh, candied cream uh, since 10 years for severe itching history of frequent episode of diarrhea at one night it was three attack in three months once there was a 60 tools so it was a diarrhea with a 60 tools a day this created in her a phobia for eating so this is what something you have to keep in your mind edema of a full body <coughs> five years since five years went to the gulf country to be with her husband there she developed high blood pressure and high lipid level 17 years ago twitching below eyes aggravated left side more the anger more the twitching noted by her grand daughter jab bhi dadi gussa karti hai na to wo twitching shuru ho jata hai so that was the symptom mostly because of adrenaline rush and adrenaline causing spasm of the muscles so this is what the twitching particularly small muscles family history uh, high blood pressures ihd in the sister <clears throat> personal history appetite no desire to eat thirst plus plus but drinks out of the head habit desire all foods uh, average in meal aggravation snail urine burning yeah, this is a chief complaint stool regularly formal formally uh, diarrhea since 3 months with acidity burning aggravated eating aggravated night so this was the case menstrual cycle the menopausal age because she was 52 years old leucorrhea plus plus perspiration plus few years ago there was a foul perspiration in axilla which discolored the clothes is black so this was a toxin is come out in the perspiration thermally chilly during uti episodes otherwise intolerance of the heat Uh, sun causes suffocation okay so this was the case of physical symptoms now we are starting with the mental history <clears throat> so she lives in a joint family of a three brother mother in law expired a few years after her marriage leaving behind a lot of responsibility father in law was a schizophrenic had a psoriasis got a fracture neck femur and expired a few years ago the middle brother separated the elder brother expired after a long spell of dialysis her husband was scheduled to donate his kidney elder sister sister in law stayed with her along with her two kids the patient was very strong woman she did not know what laziness was would get very angry if the kid did not listen to her or if she was contradicted and especially after all that she was she has done for her family she always think of other that is what will they say so goes on slogging uh, she loves to eat especially to eat good food hands cook very well also and loves feeding others no guest leave without eating so this is what her habit also she cook all types of the dishes her family and friends call her international cook or annapurna so this is what her disposition by others 
the husband is very fastidious who would throw things in anger she tolerated formally but now her anger is uncontrolled it does not cool off fast also she was alone for 12 years her husband was away to earn money removed her frustrations anger on her son then would sit and thinks over the event of the day her level of self confidence is very low now mentally feels very weak she joined her husband 17 years ago there her bp shot up suddenly she was admitted to the hospital she was admitted a second time 10 years back there was a cyclone in the jeda <clears throat> she and her son were alone at home she was extremely frightened bp shot up again and she suffered from intense vertigo they waited thus for 3 days bp was 180 by 100 so it must have been 220 or 110 before take some ayurvedic medicine to reduce lipid and bp wants a high standard living she works hard for it so she so is upset of things go wrong wanted her son to go to the dubai he refused she has adjusted with life in a small house now has shifted to the bungalow very enthusiastic for family gatherings lives in a, uh, lives in a style manages all types of situation takes quick firm decisions love to talk always very cheerful smiling and friendly will talk things out clear matters no leaves issue dangling in the air hobbies she had a hobbies of cooking stitching handcraft embroideries <clears throat> does it for earning to hire girls and teaches them to this was the case presented to sir by this woman who you saw on the video this picture we get from her as in follow up so what was the case is so you know the uh, 52 years a lady came the lady was a strong and quick decisive came from from indecisive and having a lot of concern about the families and everything and taking care of the families and everything but again the she is so was so irritable and angry also she is uh, cheerful smiling friendly and everything so this is the case of a lady <clears throat> so how to analyze the case can anyone have a little idea that how to analyze the case see everyone is reading the book so we continue the reading so what we have to do so let us observe the patient the overall trait that stand out the most something more about the patient and the points that we deduce by our understanding so basically we should look out for so one of the exciting cause we look out for the mental makeup we look out for the physical makeup we look out for the general makeup and that is what you have to observe so there is a element from there is observe trait and there is a deduce trait <clears throat> yes she is contradictions in all terms absolutely so some other significant fact that last but not least we need to understand the miasm so what was the miasm mostly a psychotic miasm the hypertension the recurrence urinary tract infection but psychosis goes into a syphilis a very uncontrolled because the process that she must have uncontrolled diarrhea 30 times a day a diarrhea 30 diarrhea in the day and again the anger was also uncontrolled and then this is what uh, bp was also uncontrolled which leads to the vertigo so means the psychosis goes into syphilis so exciting cause there is a early death of mother in law sick father in law no financial help from the brother husband is very angry and past is nature aggravation contradictions death and illness in the family so these are the few exciting cause Uh, away from husband for the 12 years yes she is responsible away from husband for the 12 years feels low weak depressed and this constitution could be affected by the anger grief and celibacy so this is what you have to keep in mind that the person is affected by celibacy <coughs> the observed always smiling and obeys puffy face uh, sudden tears pitching of the face and muscles we also not that is took up the mental the responsibility of running the house when mother in law expired when brother in law expired and the husband was abroad so she kept the house for a 10 member 
work in her spare time to earn for the family duty conscious industrious and increase sense of responsibility and she says never sits idle went to her ailing niece reduce that so on the basis of that we have to reduce that from this increase the person is very conscientious uh, very industrious uh, mild but cheerful affectionate lady a uh, smiling but angry and short temper uh, helpful caring for the family and the creative she gives an impression she is very creative because she cooks every type of dishes so everyone says that the international cook so this is the creative she gives us an impressions of the mild cheerful hard working industrious lady who earns money for the family so what could be the thinking process you can think in your mind that if you have this type of the personality what could be the remedy you can get into mind again we have to understand the general makeup whenever there is a urinary tract infection that time she has chilliness or chills but otherwise she is hot cannot tolerate heat she was habit of drinking lot of water but actually she is thirstless and the physical makeup with chronic urinary tract infections recurrent apsy and acidity leukoria and the five years since five years she has edema all over the body or the swelling so on the basis of that the rubric was taken that elements of the grief anger vexation and celibacy this is what something this is a combined everything was combined it is a long standing the husband is away from she has a anger she has a grief of uh, husband is away and grief of losing the loved one the mother in law the brother in law and everything and that makes her frustrated and that is what the this ailment and industrious mania was from she was very very critical and uh, angry so she is the censorious kind of personality and dictatorial and thirstless so on the basis of that around face affable the family oriented and family feelings a cheerful simulate hilarity while internally she is wretch this is and rest in no position and no company so on the basis of this the remedy prescribed was epis now if we are in this era this was the disposition what sir has taken into considerations <coughs> in this case and on the basis of that sir has prescribed the epis now we are in the era of learning delusions and delirium so delirium is something that it goes out of control you know so what could be the uh, things which in this patient is in out of control from this uh, point of view whenever you are uh, understanding that uh, <clears throat> i will show you the rubric so that you will get the idea that what she told that she had uh, what is out of control in this case at mental level as well as in physical level tell me so on the basis of also we can get the remedy in a right way the twitching a twitching is not out of control whenever she got angry it is emotional things but uh, whenever she get angry the twitching is came it is because of adrenal rush but it is not out of control so what could be the out of control their bp was shoot up that is also one kind of out of control okay and that lead to the vertigo that is also one kind of out of control <clears throat> yes diarrhea absolutely the 30 times diarrhea is out of control so whenever you can think of in the body which is going out of physiological way that is what sir has taught us in recent era that is it is called as a out of control reactions and that out of control reaction is in the form of a delirium so that is what a delirium and delirium comes in what position delirium diarrhea with so whenever we are thinking of delirium diarrhea with the only remedy comes is this i will show you the rubric <clears throat> delirium diarrhea chronic the only remedy given by the nair is epis can anyone appreciate the screen it was the uh, <clears throat> yeah 
so this is something that whenever you are uh, reading the case and you, you are learning from the case but this is the, the disposition has to be taken into consideration and on the basis of disposition and reduced state we can get the same remedy nowadays we are evolving in a such a way that when we take this rubric from the exaggerated or out of control reactions of the patient pathology as well as the emotion then also we can get to the right remedy by getting into the right rubric so this is what the learning from this case that help you all to understand that you can go either this way or you can go another way but you have to reach to the right destination that is the <clears throat> remedy so hope you all understood that this is the thing now the differentiation point we can think of on some of the repetitions so by taking this rubric from the repetitions there are more remedy lecases lipo platina sulfur chamomile pulsicla and bavaria all are hot all are thirstless okay so on the basis of the lipo is hot thirstless covered eyes patient is very strong lecases is hot thirstless this is cool patient is very straightforward lecases uh, plus platina hot thirstless the patient is not so hoty a timid the platina is very hoty cast of the people but here the she is very very family oriented persons and does not cast off so those who are inferior to her her vision does not cast off so platina is not so industrious sulfur sulfur is hot thirstless left sided and pseudoism and everything is cover up uh, chamomilla chamomilla is hot thirstless uncivil and not industrious pulsatilla hot thirstless mild and changeable patient is very quick in taking decision so here indecisiveness is the pulsatilla whereas apis is decisive Bryonia, the Bryonia, hot, thirstless, business-minded, talks of business, very reserved, and attitude toward the business and earn for the family is very marked. But Bryonia is very dry and no emotions, no communication. But here the patient is very, very communicative. So this is what the differentiations of certain remedy. So everything can change, the thermal can change, the nature of person can change, and altogether a new remedy can come up. The main things here in this case is the deduced state is industrious. So this can be explained in whatever myosin she passes through, whether she is in a soric, psychotic, or syphilitic state. Industrious remains the same. She is very hurried, anxious, fearful, and imp impatient. This is the soric picture. In her anger, she is simulating hilarity. She is smiling and does not show her anger. So again, this is also a syphilitic aspect of. Uh, apis is uh, even though she is a wretch or even though she has a lot of anger but she cannot express her anger and she look like a very smiling cheerful and a mild type so this is what the remedy is so on the basis of that the rubric was uh, hilarity simulating hilarity when she is being wretch or very angry she shows she is happy though she is wretched inside and she become quiet and think of uh, the things that have gone wrong in the whole day this is the cover up again the psychotic state the inflammations and edema cover up this is again the psychotic state rage fury anguish and ulceration which is coming up in the mucous membrane is the syphilitic state that is what something that is apt recurrent apathy and anger out of control so that is also a syphilitic <clears throat> But apathy is uh, again going and uh, coming and going, coming and going. So it is a sorrow syphilitic in nature. But if ulceration remains permanent, it is a frank syphilitic. So the trimiasmatic. So this is the right sided remedy. Again, a very positive remedy. But the neuralgia and twitching of the face on the left sided, I confirm this again and again. The emotions and anger stimulate the nerve, causing twitching on her cheek. This is the hysterical element of the AP is coming up. And that is why whenever there is a hysteria, there is a sensitivity, the side affections remain the left-sided. <clears throat> In psychotic or syphilitic phase, the remedy can be opposite-sided. So, apis, though it is a right-sided remedy, the facial neuralgia on the left-sided. Now, what are the right-sided and left-sided people? So, we already gone through this. But again, we are revising because in, uh, two days back, we have taken these right-sided and left-sided affections of the 
so suppose we all know the we what are the traits that we what rubric we cover up suppose all the metals like argentum platina alumina aurum cuprum mercury palladium zinc tungsten and all metals are right sided and left brain domination all positive remedy like arsenic causticum nux omega ferrum heparin mercury all are right sided and all business minded remedy like falsetilla bryonia calcarea lyco and apis are right sided and left brain dominated <coughs> Yes, absolutely, doctor. But this is a metal. But ferrum and cuprum and platina are the left-sided remedies. Absolutely, it was the process. <clears throat> the left-sided remedies are sensitive and hysterical, like asarum, crocus, graphitis, phosphorus, moschus, sina, etc. One cannot be very sure of the side of hysterical remedy. So, if the hysterical remedy is there, there must be a haywire. There is no connection. There is out of control reactions. Okay, so the side can be any. So in hysteria, you cannot take a side. So left brain dominant personality. We all know the qualities that obstinate, positive, will strong, dominating, dictatorial, perseverance, dogmatic, ambitious, optimistic, pertinacity, and power love. Whereas the right brain dominants are sensitive, creative, artistic, hysterical, and emotional or sentimental. So now let us analyze uh, what has happened. So she had a vertigo and twitching. This is a sora because the CNS is involved. There is a lipid increase, psychosis, attack of diarrhea, anxiety or tension oriented diarrhea, and the stress and emotion. The airport system is involved here. The, the force of diarrhea is too much. That's why it is syphilitic. Ailment from the long standing tension, sexual deprivations, and lead to the stimulation of pituitary gland, release of SPS and ADH, decrease in output, water logging, and therefore, in a stress, people cannot put on weight. People can put on weight and not necessarily lose weight. See the reason behind the obesity. So, these are all the fourth and fifth layer, and mesoderm and connective tissue organ affected, joint pain and cystitis, the sora, third layer, mesoderm connective tissue affected. Nausea, vomiting, sora, diarrhea, sora, and syphilitic, urethritis, sora, vaginitis, sora, leukoria, soro psychotic, ulceration, syphilitic, stomatitis, sora, ulcer, syphilitic. So, this is what we have to analyze each and everything from the case point of view. Now, let us analyze what to expect during the cure. Let us see the defense that is developed by the body to cope up with the onslaught on its reduced immunity. These are the disease that she had suffered from throughout her life. Below upper part is the journey of the disease and when cure takes place, it has to follow the opposite direction. So in UTI, the frequency and the painful urge should go first and then the burning <coughs> urination. This is because the trigon in the bladder is the nerve center and stimulation of the nerve causes painful urging. So this should be the relieved. First. So, this is what very important aspect of understanding. Whenever you are treating a case of urinary tract infection, there is a frequency, urging, pain and burning. So, what should we go first? So, whenever that is, is the painful urging and the frequency should, should be reduced and then finally the burning. So, this is what you have to take into consideration. So, in the follow-up, she was given a happy single dose. The post cell in the urine had reduced now only 3-4 post cells. Lethargy reduced, edema reduced, burning still there. Vertigo, anger, stomach is all reduced. Generally better, eating still difficult but possible. Again, vertigo reduced after 3-2 months, uh, 1 month. Her niece was suffering badly. She was in her last stage. She was going uh, into respiratory failure. Patient had been to the U.S. to be with her niece. And her knees expired within a few days because of this the stress that she went through. Her all problem had up again. So again, she was given a uh, APIS, 200 single dose. The general is better, APC reduced. She can eat well now. She was happy. Weakness was reduced. Pitching on the cheek was now absence. Burning in urethra relieved. So this is what something energy has regained and no burning and eating presence. And generally it is everything is fine. The journey from the Mars to the December, she was absolutely normal. In between the two doses of Apis was given. Now let us see something about the honeybee, the Apis, <clears throat> the doctrine of signature. This is the way by which the study of remedy become very interesting. And it also helps in understanding the basic rubric. So we all know the ASBZ as the B, so the industrious. 
is the first rubric that comes in our mind and thus they are a social insect and very duty conscious. Each one of is busy with their allotted work. The queen, the worker and the drones are present in the nest. So I must uh, advise all of you go to the animated movie Honeybee. There was one movie that I don't, I don't remember the exact name of that but it was the Honeybee movie. Bee movie said Aisa kuch hai. Go to that and you can understand whole the scenario, how the APC is working and how the APC mind is. So watch this animated movie and you will remember APC very easily. Again, uh, in YouTube, uh, our channel, Happy Gujarat channel, or in my channel, it was the lecture on the case of APC case study and you will get the APC in a very tri miasmatic way. So again, we are reading the same. It is uh, one big colony, very possessive. If the queen is not there, the whole swarm moves away and will not be ruled by another queen. So they have very strong family feeling, the fight and die to protect their house. No other swarm of a bee can come and make their house. The queen does not rule, but she is the force that holds them together. For the preparations of the remedy, it is not only the queen bee, but the whole lot of bee are crushed. So we get the character of the queen, the worker and the drone. The worker get excited and disorganized if the queen is not there in the nest. Because she is, because she has this affability, her will is done, her will is done not because of her dictatorial or dominating nature. So in epistry miasmatic, we can think of in a Sora, it is a very industrious, irritable, hurried, anxious, impatient, cheerful. There is inflammation, there is a nephritis, everything is there, inflammatory changes. In psychosis, uh, excess, there is a anger, there is a similar to the hilarity, there is a edema, the lipid has been increased, the blood pressure has been increased, there is a sky, and in a kidney, it produces a nephrosis. And in syphilitic state, it, it becomes misplaced, anguish, rage, fury, out of control, the ulcer, apathy, and goes into a state of mania. And there is in, uh, in physical level, there is an aphrodic syndrome. So another case, uh, the case of an aphrodic syndrome, the 50 years of female uh, complain of excessive tiredness, puffy face, had scanty urine, burning micturation, dysentery, and body ache, increased blood pressure, edema of the renal basics, so, husband has tuberculosis, four sons, but not earning, small house, work in anger, discontented, indifferent, joyless, headstrong, dictatorial, violent, urine, albumin, plus plus self, hot, thirstless, never smile before the remedy was syphilitic apis, an apparent appearance of the mildness in angry remedy. So, sir has given one disposition that seems to be a mild but inside there is an anger so mild but angry is the apis another case the case of the female of two and a half years old this is an apparently a mild presentation of the child she knows she is being shot there are people out there and is watching her she is very happy she started crying suddenly as her mother was insisting on her singing a song <clears throat> history of pneumonia three weeks ago, loves doll, puzzle, wants new trendy clothes, does school work by herself, start cleaning, dusting says, the servant don't clean well, cries if scolded by the grandmother, mother and father, Re retaliates to the other, wants to have her way, not many friends at school, now she is hours to going to the school, move about alone, vomit at home and in the school many a time she is okay in the holiday. So this is what discontentment shows. Looks after her younger sister, very possessive about her, formerly also looked after her little cousin but fought with the cousin for her own age. She is very shy child, communicate very little, initially will talk to her mother only and hit her. If I insist on an answer, craves chocolate, loves the AC. Combining all this with timidity, with the haughty, pompous, hard on inferior and soft on superior, thermal hot, loves chocolate. So she was given the lycopodium. So this is what you have to deduce the trait from the patient and you will get. So the rubric was taken that discouraged children in discouraged and quiet timidity appear in public but capable of. So remedy was lycopodium, hot and 
first lesson. Another case, the case of a few eleven years female. This second girl also de deliver a picture of mildness. Chief complained the pain in chest with suffocation. She suddenly sighed, take deep breath, aggravated close place, smoke, aversion to any mental housework, like to cook. She always want to be by herself. Always compare and complain that mother does things for other children and not for her. So this is something you can think of a jealousy. Precocity, early menses would talk like a big girl. <clears throat> she loves to be with her mother, always wants her mother's support. If sick, will say, press my hand, my leg, desire pampering. She is her father's favorite. Uh, he buys her the best of things. She would not go with her classmate as they do not understand the thing. She says she does not like to go with them. She lives early. Love sweets, ice cream, outside food, cold drink, prone to lose stool and thirst absent. So from this we can deduce the trait is the timid plus the jealousy plus the precocity plus the pampering desire and the suspicious of the friend and thirstlessness and craves ice cream. So on the basis of that the remedy prescribed is pulsatilla. Another, this is again the hot thirstless remedy. Another case, the female. So this this uh, chapter will deal with that whenever you have a deduced state and from that deduced state you can get the remedy. Another case, the female, 28 years, the case of retinitis pigmentosa and depressions. Chief complaint, the loss of appetite, headache over the eyes, exhaustions, indifferent to the work, lack of confidence after this problem has become very religious, very rigid in following the rituals, says I cannot do much, no ability for any art. So this way I want to see a God. He meet but she is not mild, she is expressive, she is very sure of what she wants if she does not like anything at home in food. She will say I will go and make what I want to make sudden burst of exuberation sudden hilarity laughing followed by sadness or a mask like a face so this is what the emotional vacillating emotions so alternating she also had a history of the skin eruptions in the childhood and has aversion to sex so so we have the timidity plus aversion to sex or question the exuberance the alternating with the sadness discouragement or despair the confidence, lack of helplessness, feeling of humiliations, uh, showing aggravations, causes dullness and headache. So the remedy prescribed was petroleum on the basis of. She has a degenerative condition. Generals are better, mentally better and we have to try to arrest the disease here. So this is on the basis of this. The only thing comes is there is a mildness and timidity in the disposition. So whenever there is a mildness and timidity, you can think of certain remedies. So this trait comes up from the persons by a way they react when they talk to us. A look at them will tell us. When you see someone is very quiet, non-communicative, shy, the other rubric we could think of are the impressionable, sympathy desire, quiet dispositions, affable, tranquility, yielding, cautious, fear, embarrassed, lack of confidence and the reserve, etc. So timidity is a shyness, fear, which does not allow you to come out. It is something called as an inhibition. Okay. Come out, express or share easily. So remedy under the mild and timidity. So in the in the Kara, you can combine two rubrics like this. So whenever you take uh, two general rubrics like a mildness and timidity. So this is something it helps you to understand the trait. So on the basis of you will get this remedy and then you have to sort by the <coughs> grades. So whenever you take a grades higher, so you will get the pulsatilla, mild and timid, silicia, mild and timid, arsenic, calcarea, lyco, natrum, phosphorus. So this you can understand by this way. 
and that is helping you to read the repertory by this way. So whenever you combine these things, mild plus timid, so they are not very expressive, not very angry, not outspoken, but are shy and scared and bashful. The remedy are like this, alumina, aurum, calcarea, carbon, kali, natrum, urine, and sulfur. So aurum muse, this was sort of source has, sir has deduced certain remedy only. So you can go, but in a higher way. So ammonium mu, the timid but not mild, the ammonium have a lot of anger and rage and grudges, those who have affected. So this is what ammonium is mild, timid, timid but not mild, <clears throat> can be very sour to you. If again you uh, read the ammonium mu from the surf disposition book, you will find that ammonium is a, look like a platina, very haughty. And also there is a nakpomika like anger, but there is a shortness in everywhere. So this is what there is no courage. So timid, but not mild, angry remedy. Apis again, you all see that Apis is mild, looks mild, but not timid. So why are this remedy mild and timid? So we can go through the dispositional process that alumina, so alumina is become mild and timid because of she is, she, he had an overpowering parents and there is a lot of confusion about his own identity or about the things and he loses his identity. So he become very mild and timid. Calcarea, calcarea wants the protections, the shell and a lot of insecurity and brittleness. So takes the whole house within him. So this is why they become mild and timid. Aurum is very conscientious, goes on doing whatever has to be done or whether they are asked to do without complaining. That's why they become mild and timid. Even again, the Aurum is very strong remedy, but again, there is a mild aspect of Aurum is this. Carbon, the carbon is very angry, but they express their anger in the form of sarcasm. They have to suppress their anger and there is a slow anger like coal burning. Uh, they are angry, but they are timid. Kali, Kali shows the fear by the startling, small thing frightened them. There is the laxity, anxiety, this lead to the timidity and mildness. Sulfur, basically sulfur is very, very coward and pseudoism and to cover up everything and show the falseness, that's why they become very mild and timid. So this is the uh, sir attempt to share with you the principle which Dr. Vijaykar has taught us. This is Dr. Anita Saluke has given put together the rubric and understanding of the patient but the wrong set of rubric lead to the wrong remedy so they have to belong to the prevalent myism so very important what sir has told us garbage in garbage out whenever you put a wrong symptom into computer computer gives a wrong remedy and you said that i have tried a lot of remedy but i cannot get because of you have not tried the right rubric so if you hit the right rubric with according to myism everything will be clear cut and you will get the result very easily so there are other remedies which gives you an apparent impressions of the mildness though they are very angry are the apis arsenic aurum cuprum crocus lyco phosphorus rust tox so again uh, the reduced state of everything the arsenic is very conscientious fastidious appear mild aurum is duty conscious smiling gives an impression of mildness. Cuprum, again, cuprum is very, very dictatorial remedy. There is a delusion. He is a general. but He is a command. So he has an air of command, will walk like a general dictatorial commanding, will sit stiff and not talk to you. Therefore, we get an impression of mildness. They are not very extroverted or expressive kind of personality. Again, it is a contradictory to two things that the dictatorial personality shows a mildness. It is a cuprum. Poculus, the mark confusion, there is the recognized but cannot move and does not understand. So there is a tell remedy in our Matriya Medica, very, very anxious remedy in our Matriya Medica, very, very nurturing and motherly remedy is the coculus and having a sensitivity to aggravate it from the riding in carriage. Lycopodium is a presumptuous, stiff and pretentious, a duty conscious and dominating, software superior, hard with interior, hot, thirstless, right-sided, warm food, desire. The phosphorus, uh, very demanding to get their things done. The affectionate wants written affection. Though they look mild, they can be very dictatorial and demanding if they do not get what they want. So whenever the phosphorus goes into syphilitic, 
they are very very dominating and dictatorial kind of personality because he lost the affections and landed with the indifference to everyone indifference to loved one like that rustok shows a lot of reverence and respect so most of time you find the rustok is very very obsequious servile and mild <coughs> So, effect of the mind on the corporeal state, it was written in organon. In case of sudden derangement of the stomach, a lot of example have been given, is usually of a dynamic origin caused by the mental disturbances of the grief, pride, vexation. This is exactly what our patient went through. A chill, overexertion of the mind or the body immediately after eating, even moderate, moderately, one can become sick. Nearly all symptoms are the generals because mental state can only be expressed in general term by saying I feel and I am. Man is a self-conscious mental individual. His mind works in, in and through his body. Therefore, each cell in the physical frame of his, this highly specific individual portrays the individual characteristic. So this is very important aspect of understanding. This tells us the whole concept of how we should choose our similimum and what we should cover. Each and everything is connected. If one thing is not functioning well, it affects the other. So emotion is in course of time can affect and even destroy the corporeal state. Take an aerial view of the patient and not a short-sighted view. Let us find out the strong element from and how the patient is reacted to. So this is what the sensitivity and the reaction. Then get uh, the then get the will and intellect. So what we have to find out that the strong element from and patient is reactions. Then we get the will, intellect and the moral. Then we get the desire, aversion and physical and mental reaction uh, to the acute element, thermal and thus. And then we only come to the right remedy. So this is what something that we have to and never forget underlying myasm. So whenever you are treating any case, you can have to deduce all from the case by this way. So you have to deduce the sensitivity, you have to deduce the reaction, you have to deduce the will, intellect and moral of the patient and also to deduce the desire, aversion, likes, physical and mental reactions to particular situations and the thermal and thus and consider the myasm. So this is something you have to keep in a mind. So that's what Master Hanuman said that ode sapere, dare to be wise. So we are concluding this topic here and we will continue from tomorrow the another topic. So, so from this you can understand that uh, we have to take everything from the history. Again, the same case we are analyzing in today's era with the newer understanding of the sir, then also this is the right thing. So this is what the sir's understanding when you go through either one way or you go through the another way, you reach to the right destination if your way is right. So whenever you are Googling something or whenever you are uh, Google some map, so your destination, so Google show you two, three ways, but Google show you the shortest way and the fastest way. But sometimes that way is blocked, so you will go through another way also. So the same way whenever you are blocking your case taking or whenever you are blocking your case, you go either another way, so you will get the right remedy and the right result. And that is what Hanuman says that dare to be wise. So thank you so much for today's sessions and we will continue our journey of reading from tomorrow. Thank you all. Yes, Dr. Nisha has shared something. Someone has asked some questions. Can it be a tendency to exaggerate the symptom? Dr. Sunita Agrawal has asked some questions. Uh, in context of what? Can you elaborate? So I will answer your queries. Yes, uh, it is so much important to know the trimismatic knowledge of remedy and understanding the journey of the remedy. It makes the patients clear. Yeah, absolutely, Dr. Nisha. Absolutely.
So, thank you so much. I think Dr. Sunita has asked one question regarding this. Uh, every time patient is exaggerated is the symptoms. Yes, you have to deduce that symptom. That is why I have given you the uh, example of two cases what sir has mentioned, one case of chamomilla, that patient is so much so impatient and uh, he wants that uh, treat me uh, at, at cost. So this is what uh, I will show you that rubric so that you will get There is a rubric that, uh, yeah, this was the rubric. I will share in the room uh, again, sharing the screen. So you will get the, yes, this is the rubric. Uh, this is the exaggerated rubric that impatient patient insists the doctor that cure him at once. Sir, abhi kabhi mere ko theek kar do. So that is what the remedy is. The remedy is chamomilla. So whenever you find any exaggerated symptoms, you have to convert that symptoms into a rubric so that you will get the idea. Then that again, I will I have showed you that the patient is very having a neurosis. What is he goes to the physician and the physician says that nothing. ECG was done, echo done, everything was not, and then he become normal. So. Uh, there must be some anxiety about health and ends up in the hospital. So this is what the rubric. Anxiety about health ending up in the hospital. Just be hospital gaya, doctor ne bol diya, ho gaya, the remedy is end of time. So I had shown that two cases that help you to understand that whenever you find any exaggerated symptoms, but you have to convert that exaggerated symptoms into rubric and then never you take. But again, this exaggeration is always a physiological in nature, sorosyphilitic in nature. Don't take these exaggerations in the frank syphilitic cases. Okay. Or don't take these exaggerations in the hysterical cases. So uh, either uh, if you take this in hysterical cases, you will not get the result. Or if you having a frank syphilitic destructive disease, and you take the exaggeration, it will not going to help you. So in that case, you have to deduce another trait from the patient's uh, non-disease characteristics and everything and prescribe the GCS so you will get the right remedy. Hope you all understand. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for the, the sessions and thank you for interactions. Thank you all. So we end the session today, we conclude it, thank you.